It's Shamar Nicholson again from Fluid Speak ESL. I hope you're having a good start to your summer. We're a couple days in now. And if you're watching this video, I hope you might also be willing to join me for a little summer 2020 language challenge to help keep us engaged and focused and challenged in between our lessons together. So any of my current students, if you finish the full challenge, then you can get a free hour long session with me on Skype or Zoom to try out one of my lessons on my Fluid Speak ESL teaching. Um, there are three different lessons. You might choose a conversational fluidity lesson, a progressive business English lesson, or maybe a lesson from the North American English Cultural Insider course. That last one is a very long one. If I want to say it again in this video, I will call it NACI, N-A-E-C-I, NACI. Much shorter and easier to say. Now, maybe you're not a current student. Maybe we've never met and you just found this video, might be just a little bit curious. It'd be great to still have you participate. That would be awesome. If this applies to you, if you're a new student or a potential student, please feel free to participate still and ask questions if you'd like to. And if you do finish the whole challenge along with us, make sure you let me know and I'll still get you a lesson as well. Again, you can choose any one of the three lesson types that I offer and you can get a half hour Skype or Zoom session still for free. So the summer 2020 language challenge is going to be divided into four weeks. Each week, there's a new video. The video should be posted every Monday. As soon as the video becomes available, you can start the challenge for that week. Now let's talk about the steps. There are three. Step one, simply watch the video. Of course, as you're watching, you wanna be listening as well and paying attention to whatever is the focus for that lesson. For today, the focus of the video will be on word stress. So when I start that part of the video, make sure you're paying attention to what words I stress. Think about why I'm stressing them and why it's important to stress those words in the sentences that I'm using, okay? That's for a little bit later. Step two. Click on the Google Form link in the video description. So under the video, click on the Google Form link there and you can do, you can complete the questions as you listen to the video or you can complete the questions after you've listened to the video. It's up to you. And of course you are free to watch the video however many times you need so that you can complete the Google Form now step three, this is an important step. Every week that you do a Google form and listen to the video, the Google form is always going to ask you your name. Please make sure that you are using a name that I am familiar with and that we use in our lessons together so that I will know that it's you when I see the Google form. That means, for example, if I know you as Bobby W, please don't write your name on the Google form as Robert Wellington. I might not know that that is you. So use the name that I am already familiar with, whether it's a name or a nickname. Those are the three steps. So as mentioned before, today's focus is going to be on word stress. There are different ways that we can practice word stress in English. Sometimes word stress is talking about the syllables of a particular word, some syllables being stressed and some not. And when we say stress, we mean a little bit stronger or emphasized. When we're talking about the word stress for the syllables of a word, that's usually talking about your accent. 
But that is not the only way that we can study word stress. Sometimes we study word stress for the whole word. Which words in a sentence are stressed or made stronger than the others? So there are different ways that we can look at word stress. In today's example, you're going to hear a bit of both, okay? So listen carefully, just do your best. Of course, if you have any outstanding questions by the end, I'm sure I'll see you in class again soon. We can chat about it then, or you can always write me a message. But either way, try to keep up with the challenges and push yourself and who knows, we'll see what comes of it. Okay, so let's get started. Get ready. He was an expert, but not in a job field that anyone really valued. He knew how to hold the cone just right to make sure that the soft serve ice cream fell into it at the precise angle to make the perfect ice cream cone each and every time. It had taken years to perfect, but now he could do it without even thinking about it. Nobody seemed to fully understand the beauty of this accomplishment, except for the new worker who watched in amazement. All right, folks, so that is it for week one of our language challenge. It's just a short amount to listen to and a few questions to answer that are again linked on the Google form below in the video description. Feel free to watch a part of the video over again so that you can answer the questions on the Google form more confidently if that's what you want to do, but it's up to you. All right. I hope to see you again next week for week two for a slightly new uh, English focused topic and we'll continue the challenge then. See ya. Take care.